Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today, let's talk about live streaming. Live streaming has become a very important solution for musicians, houses of worship, bands, educators, and more for getting live content out into the world. So what is live streaming? Also known as live casting, casting, and simply streaming, live streaming is the process of broadcasting content over the internet. It's a very simple process that's scalable from a basic smartphone to a complex solution with multiple cameras, audio processing, on-screen graphics, and more. For live streaming, we need two basic things. A way to capture and transmit the video and audio content, and an internet solution or channel for displaying that content. From those basics, we can build up to larger systems for events, house of worship services, band performances, and more. Now, as far as getting your live stream out there into the world, there are a number of channels available for streaming your content. Whether you're teaching lessons, broadcasting a church service, putting on an online performance, or whatever content you choose to create, these include YouTube Live, Facebook Live, Twitch, Periscope, and more. So how do we get started live streaming? The simplest solution for live streaming video and audio is probably right in your pocket. Just use your smartphone to live stream to YouTube or Facebook. The phone's camera and microphone are used to capture the content, the phone sends it via Wi-Fi or cellular, and it displays through your YouTube or Facebook channel or other platform channel. Ideally, you'd mount your phone to a tripod, and for best audio quality, you'd add an external microphone. Now, this will give you a quick and easy way to stream. There are simple directions on the various platforms for how to do this, or you can use an app such as BoxCast to handle this for you. Or choose something like the Rolling Go Livecast, which is an easy and fun all-in-one hub for using smartphones for live streaming with inputs for microphones, onboard effects, and much more. Now, smartphones offer a convenient solution with great video and audio quality these days, but using one for live streaming does limit you in some ways, such as zooming, multiple camera angles, and so on. To up the quality and the versatility of your live streams, you want to step up to a camera or multiple cameras that give you more control and more versatility as well as top-notch video quality. Now this could range from a USB camera running into your laptop to a pro-level camera. The essential detail on a camera like that is an HDMI output. This is used to connect to a video capture device that then routes into your laptop. In some cases, a camera may have a USB output that can plug straight into your laptop. For larger systems, a video switcher, such as the Roland VR4 HD, allows you to have multiple camera feeds operating all at the same time, and you can switch among them for different shots and camera angles as the live stream progresses. This makes your production look much more professional. Good lighting makes the difference when you want to achieve a pro-looking production. You can start with simple lights and add on better quality lights designed for shooting photos and video as you go. For audio, we recommend a good quality microphone. There are many microphones designed for podcasting that work well, or you can step up to a nice large diaphragm condenser microphone as well. If you're using external microphones, you need a solution for getting that microphone signal into your live stream. An easy one is IK Multimedia's iRig Stream, which is a USB audio interface that can stream from three audio sources simultaneously and works with iOS, Android, Mac, and PC. You should also check out the TC Helicon Go XLR and Go XLR Mini USB streaming mixers. For maximum audio control, and especially if you're using more than one microphone, a mixer is a nice addition to your live streaming rig. A mixer allows you to blend microphones together, process them with tone controls, add special effects as desired, and route them to headphones for performers as well as to your streaming solution. An AV mixer, such as the Roland VR1 HD, allows you to manage multiple video inputs, two microphones, and processing, and control routing and everything else all within one place. It's very convenient. We also recommend putting an audio limiter into your signal path. This device allows you to set a ceiling for your audio levels and will prevent audio distortion in your live streams. And be sure you have good headphones so you can hear what's happening with your audio. To make it easy to get started live streaming, we've assembled several bundles here that you can check out at Sweetwater.com. These range from very simple to use and affordable options all the way up to professional two-camera systems that can cover larger events such as house of worship services or live band performances. These bundles offer two options for you. They're an all-in-one solution to get you started, or you can simply use one as a template to show you the components you need to build different levels of live streaming systems. So let's sum things up. You can get started live streaming very easily and affordably. Just use your phone and one of the popular platforms. But when it's time to improve the quality and the scope of your productions, these are the essential elements you'll need as you build your system. First, a camera or a video solution. Whether you're using your phone or a dedicated camera, you'll want a tripod to hold it steady. For best looking video results, you'll also want to look at dedicated lighting. And for maximum audio quality, use good microphones, an audio or AV mixer, and an audio limiter. To hear what's happening with the audio in your live stream, you'll want a great set of headphones. And for larger systems, a video switcher is a great addition. And finally, you'll need the necessary cabling to connect all the gear together. 
Live streaming is an easy and fun solution for getting your live content out to the world. Whether you're teaching lessons, holding a house of worship service, broadcasting an event, putting on a lecture, putting on a concert, or whatever it might be. The beauty is that you can start simple and build your way up, or you can dive in and put together a rig that rivals a pro broadcast solution. And one final pro tip. Be sure that you own the copyright or have permission to use any third-party material that you use in your live stream. This will prevent problems when you begin streaming your content. If you have questions about live streaming, the gear required, or anything else related to video and audio production, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Your sales engineer can help guide you through the many choices, recommend the best solutions, and help you get started quickly and easily. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at live streaming. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like these or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.